all right everybody we are back at the castle some people call it a light tower whatever you want to call it but we've got one heck of a view today the sun is out very few clouds a little bit of boat traffic it is getting cooler and it's starting to really 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 be like fall which is no complaints around here however today's episode is how many things can i do or have to learn on this place that i've never done before so i have got one piece of this item up let's get this day going all right i have never installed guttering in my life i put this piece of guttering up <clears throat> this is an octagon as you guys have seen in previous videos and explanations as to how I believe we're going to seal this thing up so this sucker sets at a 45 degree angle I thought you know what if we cut this straight and then we cut this at a 45 that's going to achieve what we want but it doesn't so I started uh, did a little bit of research I have went and picked up what they consider 45 degree angles for guttering it is not a big piece it is a little bitty piece and it fits you can see the 45 degree angle back there it fits right up in here this is my assumption everybody i have never done this before fits up in there like that and then i've got to make this piece line up with that angle and then the other gutter that comes over line up in that inside it does require a special caulking well the guy told me it was special caulking this might be standard stuff for people who know what the heck they're doing but it's geocell 2320 tri polymer gutter and narrow seam sealant i'm assuming that narrow seam is what makes it special for this application and i have been told we can self tap this to that gutter or we can self or sorry i don't know what the heck i just said there I have been told that we can self-tap this to the gutter or we can pop rivet it. I did bring my pop rivet gun. We do have pop rivets in here somewhere amongst there. They are right there. That's several boxes of pop rivets. So our plan is to pop rivet this thing together. Are they the proper color pop rivets? No, but I'm pretty confident. 45 feet up in the air. There ain't going to be anybody down there see that we have not white pop rivets. So I want to give this a try i've never done it before i kind of see what this piece set in here what i need to do um it looks like i do need to cut the gutter at somewhat of an angle but i do believe i can use this piece that i have up here as a starter and still make it work and i didn't waste anything but that does not mean by the end of the day that we aren't going to have scrap pieces of gutter everywhere we'll see how this goes all right guys we got our first piece trimmed up here Slide our piece in. If we hold her right there on the gutter, that looks like you gotta hold it flat. That looks like that's gonna work out pretty good. I can't see as well as you guys can up there, but I know I'm a little shy down in that corner just a hair, so I need to leave my pieces a little longer. But that there should tie it together, and then as long as I make the next piece that comes over from here a little long and just cut a slight angle on it this should correct that however we went to the other side and we found another issue the board that connects the gutter board to the gutter board it actually sticks a little bit past so we're going to take our handy dandy tool here we're going to trim it off trim it off to where that transition continues and actually comes to a point right here like it should um, I think that point realistically should be over here but we're just going to take it and we're going to allow this transition to continue to here and that's going to get us as close as we're going to get for this one so let's get her trimmed off here
that is going to make for a much better transition than what we had before i'll still put my 45 on the actual corner even though the corner isn't there but you can see where the drip edge creates the corner and i'll just have to uh <clears throat> put my i think <clears throat> i'm sure some of you guys know but inside the guttering there's a metal bracket right in there that actually holds the gutter to the gutter board yes there is not any fascia here no i don't have my bottom board on sometimes you order materials and not everything shows up so um hopefully those are going to show up here in just a little bit and i'll be able to cap this bottom wrap all this with fascia but i wanted to get the gutter fitment started and i ran into i know you know the 14th issue but that's okay we're working through it now we're going to measure from long point to long point which should be six foot or a little more reason i state that is this door is six foot long so i'm guessing six foot six or something like that and we're going to cut our gutter longer than that but let's get a measurement and we'll go from there well we got our one by material here <clears throat> keep in mind all this is going to be wrapped in the fascia but i have found out that the actual plastic out skirting of the door is going to get in my way I really don't want to take the doors off as the sun is setting and I've only got maybe two more hours of daylight. So we're going to take our handy tool and we're going to zip off that top plastic flange. Leave the sides so we can keep the doors on tonight. And we're going to get our one by product back in behind there. <clears throat> so we started with the gutters. We got this gutter close. We got one other piece of gutter and cut. And now we got to back up a little bit and get our fascia on so we can just tie it all together at one time. When I say fascia, I mean the gutter boards. And uh, I do have some help. Dane yeah, is here to help me. Yep. He's going to hand me stuff and get what I need and also be a cameraman for the first time. So hopefully he does a good job holding the camera will, will, will. and not falling through the deck that is a really, really bad shape. So yeah, remember, only step your right foot's in the wrong spot. Like only step no. where there are floor joists, right buddy? Yeah. yeah. Alright, let's get this out. Alright, I'm gonna move towards you a little bit here. Alright. Yeah, watch where you're stepping. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's a good spot. Kind of crazy. <laughs> and just like that, the plastic is now off, as you guys can see up in there. And now we'll be able to run that bottom board all the way over to the wood, attach it here. And we may even throw some toenails in to that board there, depending on how well. Uh, probably gonna have to wait until the door's out to do that. But anyway, we're gonna get this stuff attached. Maybe put some gutters on yet. Well, Dane and I held our board up there. We got our drawing traced out. We actually held the board up high to get the angles. And then we used a straight edge after measuring the distance from the wall out to the gutter. Measure that distance. It's six inches on that side, five and a half inches on this side. So it's only a half inch difference, not that big of a deal. But our board up there for a straight edge, now we're going to cut it. Hit first the... things first, Dane. Does that platform look flat or no. at an angle? It's at an angle. All right, so we got to make sure we're making a square cut because we're not cutting angles right now. Normally, you would also check your depth, but since we're just making a through cut, we don't care. All right? Yep. So you're going to hold that board over there, and I'm going to make this cut, this cut here. Maybe. Come on, guard. Stay nice. Cut number one. Now I'm gonna make this, mm, nah, let's switch sides. I'm gonna make that shortcut and then we'll make a long cut. Yep. You ready? Yep. You sure? Yep. Born ready? Yep. Liar. We 
can use that later. We'll flip this around and make a long cut. You want to switch again? Yeah, I'll, I'll switch you again. Why do you think I want to flip it around? Uh, so we can cut like the little side. Like this little side right here. Yeah, but here's what you got to think about. If you're holding it, I'm going to be cutting right at you, aren't I? Oh, yeah. So you're going to have to hold it. I'll only cut so far, and I'll stop, and we'll switch sides. All right. Okay? Yep. You ready? Yep. You sure? Yep. Here we go. I gotta switch hands. Hit a knot, got harder. Switch me, sir. Yeah, I can do that. That end's gonna fall off. Uh, it Ta-da! Now the real question is, does it fit? Yeah, that's the real question. If we didn't. Well, by golly, that one fit in there pretty good. Tied in well on both ends. Got it tied together, held this one out nice and flush. Got it nailed off on both sides. They're the only two places that I have boards coming down. We'll nail it off through here to ensure the uh, gutter board and that soffit is tied together there and uh coming this way we're going to, have to figure out what we're going to do here because it really really doesn't leave enough room with the boards that are coming down to splice it here on the center so i'm thinking i'll put a board on this back side screw it in and then screw this board to that board this board coming over that meets this funky angle here so we're gonna figure that out but we're moving right along yep you sure? Yep. Making sure we're not cutting our railing back there. <laughs> All right, switch me sides, young man. Yep, I can do that. You want to hold this one up more because that one will stay there. Make sense? Yep. Don't let go. I will not. Trying not to cut any deeper than I have to, so we might be able to use that other board here in a second for our next piece. There we go. That wasn't what I was trying to do, but it worked. It worked. All right, let's see how she fits. Well, I know you guys can't see much out here, but we've got the soffit boards on. They tied in really nicely. Now remember, all these are gonna be wrapped with metal protected from the weather came in really nicely here all the way along this angle tied in really nicely that angle this here is hanging down a little bit more than what i'd like but i can tap that up with a hammer i know you guys can't see hardly anything at all so that's it for the day obviously you can see we ran out of daylight we do have a gorgeous sunset no complaints about that but we've got to go do other things that we can do in the dark out here we have no lights and it's dangerous enough in the daylight so we're gonna call that quits for the day well it is a beautiful morning the sun is coming up over the trees burning off all the fog you guys can see how how thick the fog is over here and how not so thick the fog is over there because the sun's burning it off so 
we are back at it today we are hopeful to get our gutters installed today we didn't quite make it there last night um but here we are again we're going to try to get this thing wrapped in metal and get some gutters on it that may actually carry the water to the other side of the observation tower let's get this day going wow you guys are foggy take care of that there we go so i've got the uh actual soffit marked out there and i marked it out this bumps the building this is the outside edge of the soffit so this is the gap we have to remove so you don't want to cut that line or this piece ends up too short you got to transfer that distance and i'll show you here what i'm talking about you got to transfer that distance which is basically one and a half inches and you want to remove that from this side not that side you want to leave this you want to take this and it feathers all the way down you can see by the chalk line there it feathers down to nothing basically so i chalked it from nothing to an inch and a half and i've got myself another measurement in here and i've got it marked here and you can see the chalk line's a little bit off of it because the chalk line is going to do nothing but create a straight line and uh there is nothing straight about this building. So I'm not concerned about this three eighths of an inch difference. When I put J channel up there to put siding around this thing or whatever finish I use, the J channel will make up that gap and you won't have to worry about any water issues there. So instead of cutting this with a pair of 10 snips, like you see here, when it's a straight cut like that, I like to take a razor knife with a razor blade and score all the way down that line and then bend it and break it. So we'll show you how we do that there. Then we can get you guys set up to where you can actually see what's going on and I don't knock you over. Good luck on not being knocked. Good luck on not being knocked over. So you start right here. I did cut the starting angle with 10 snips, it is an angle cut and it's you can't really break it off that way. This way here, since it is a straight cut, like I mentioned, you can score this. And you just score it right down through there. Hopefully you stay on your chalk line. And you don't wanna to press too hard. You don't want to press too hard when you're scoring the first time. It makes it harder to stay on your chalk line. So if you score it just deep enough on your first pass and you find out that that's not, not truly deep enough to break it, you can always score it twice. You can see we're getting closer and closer. To this edge, we started far away up there. Now we're getting closer. And we'll get to a point to where we run right into our other angle cut. Oops. See there, I tried to push too hard and I ran right off my chalk line. All right. Now we've got our scored. You don't ever want to start on the skinny end. Yeah, see, I knocked you over. You don't ever want to start on the skinny end because it's really hard to get that started. Whereas if you start right here on the big end, you'll be able to run it right down your score line. might have to score it twice. If 
You guys see how it broke right there? That's right where I scored it. You just keep working that down all the way to the other end. You see how it just keeps getting bigger and bigger. Your other option is to actually be able to uh, have a metal break, clamp it down in a metal break, score it like crazy, work that break up and down. Well, I don't have a break, so here we are. Well, there it is. Things got a little interesting down here on this skinny end, so I did have to 10 snip about three inches, but let's see how she fits. I know, I know I'm going to be a little long on that left hand side, but that is expected. someone who doesn't know what they're doing and a board that ain't isn't very straight I'm gonna call that a success again the J channel is gonna come right up in this inside I'm gonna roll I'm gonna roll that around and give myself a little bit of this piece and the reason I, I'm only gonna give myself a little bit is this is four inch and this board here measures six inch i do have six inch as well and i've also got eight inch so we're going to take this one and we're going to finish this cut on over but not cut this top side and then we'll roll that in and we'll trim it off i'll show you guys what i'm talking about so you guys can see there where I finished that cut all the way out, but I did not cut that top edge. Once this is pushed in all the way, like so, get it off the back corner. Get it all tucked in here really nice. That's gonna run right on that edge, and all of my weather comes from that way. That's west. That's south. Obviously, that's east. That's where the sun's coming up. So with that weather coming this away, I don't want to put this piece under that one because then weather can blow up in there. And you don't have, really have to worry about that little bend right there. It's not a big deal. But if you pull this one over top of that one and you close that off, now, since the weather comes from the exact opposite direction as I'm facing, any weather is going to blow right across this seam instead of up in it and i can tack that off right there and then my six inch piece will come across and go over top of that and it'll all seal everything up so we're going to get this one tacked off we're going to get our six inch piece cut we're going to get that side tacked off because once again the weather comes from behind us opposite direction we're facing so this piece will fold under that piece there and that'll create a seal to where any blowing water goes across this instead of up in it. Let's get her tacked off. Well, by golly, we're making headway. We've got our six inch piece tucked underneath of our four inch piece. Yeah, this looks a little janky here, but with the way these boards come together, I had to double cut that. And again, the weather comes from this way, so it's going to blow right over across, right across it. Got our six piece, six inch piece in here. We did have to trim it slightly because it's a little smaller over here and a lot of people might ask well, why would you leave this little section right here well as you can see this piece of soffit measures basically five and a half 
This piece of soffit measures one inch. So I've got to take another four inch piece and trim it basically very little over here. I'm pretty confident. Yeah, very little. It's three and three and a quarter, maybe three and three eighths. And then we get back to a six inch piece here. So there was no reason for me to take that six inch piece and use my full, which you can see I've got there. It was better to use a short piece. And then we'll come in here, we'll grab another short piece of six inch. And we'll use this short piece to fill in this short piece and then we're wasting much less six inch material because i've got to trim it down remember again to one inch over here so that six inch is going to be six inch on this left hand side and then once i make the break and bend it around it'll be one inch so this is going to be a funky cut but let's get her cut and get her installed well this is what we think is going to work we need three quarters of an inch right here we need one inch on the other end so we're going to take our straight edge We'll line it up on those two lines and we're going to mark that baby out we're going to do the same thing we did last time we're going to score it and break it so hopefully we have a nice clean edge and remember your first pass you don't want to push too hard especially especially when you're trying to work right along that edge that was a weird noise you work on that edge oops you get a little squirrely sometimes just keep scoring it a couple few times maybe and then you can Hopefully, get her to start bending right there. These short pieces are a pain in the butt, honestly. Especially when you're trying to break three quarters of an inch. But it'll eventually go. Again, if you had a metal break, it'd make this a heck of a lot easier. Come on. That corner's gonna be a fun one. Just like that. Now we gotta see if she fits. Oh. So I don't know if you guys can see this from up here. You see, you got some wind out there in the river. I know this is squirrel. Anyway, um, everybody talks about these Asian carp. When you are 45 feet in the air, I don't know if you guys can see it or not. Do you see all those objects in the water all the way down through there, dark spots, kind of patchy? I mean, you, as far as the eye can see, those carp are feeding. And I mean, there are, just what I can see right here, thousands. Thousands and thousands and thousands of them. And I don't know if me zooming in will help, but there's a great big group of them. Oh, let's see here. You got the tall, yellowish tips on that bush. You come to the left. And right there's a great big group of them suckers. I mean, there's there's hundreds right there in that one spot. And they're not big. They're maybe five, six pound fish. But my goodness gracious, there's thousands of them. I mean, thousands. Well, anyway, enough distractions. Let's see. Let's see if our piece is even close to fitting. Now, remember, the weather comes from our left. 
So I want to put this one underneath of that one. Push it all the way over. Oh, come on. Come on, you're looking good so far. Oh, would you look at that. I know that was a janky old piece, but I'll be able to put a nail right here, which will keep these two attached. And then I'll put another nail right here to keep this one tucked over that one. I am not gonna complain about that fit whatsoever. Let's get her nailed off and in place. Look at that, just look at that. That's pretty good, I might say so myself. Anyway, let's get well, her nailed off. Any of you that have done remodeling knows that when you're remodeling, one discovery leads to another. So I had to remove this door from its opening to get my fascia on in this area here. Lo and behold, I take that door out and I see that the bottom plate for that door is chewed up by termites or moisture. No wait, it's termites, they've tunneled. They didn't get into that board. They didn't get into any of the floor joists except this non-treated scab that was put in here. And they got into the plywood just a little bit. But you can see we're solid, all except for this one little area. So honestly, I might've gotten lucky. My bottom, my new bottom plate is gonna span from that four by four because we're, we're uh, framing in this opening where the door was. So my new bottom plate's gonna come across here. And then I'll have studs coming up that ties everything in together. And I may not, not 100% confident yet. I don't know if I trust that header because realistically with the way it's in there, it's, it's not a header. But once I do frame this opening closed, it will then turn into a header. Uh, but I did get two by sixes to where I could double up two by sixes on this top side underneath of true framing so that I, it, it will turn into a structural wall. Um, not that it's 100% needed, but that's supported by that. That's supported by that. And that's supported by that. Yes, that one and that one are tied into the four by fours, but you know, I came here thinking I'm gonna put fascia and gutters on. Looks like I'm gonna have to frame a wall up for the end of the day. So here we go. Hopefully I can get the fascia on. Maybe I can get the gutters going and um, get those in place before lunch. And then after lunch, I can frame in a wall. So let's, let's just keep on keeping on. All right, we've got all that tied in. We made our way all the way over here. We've got our last piece. Hello. Before we start going around the corner. And as I was uh, over there at the corner trying to figure out what it is I need to do to transition from, you know, one inch to four inch to six inch. Well, I noticed a whole bunch of little guys you see them there right there where my shadow of the camera is let me get you guys over here right there where my finger shadow is pointing there is a nest of yellow jackets so we're not going to go any further there we got a hold of the wife and said hey we need some wasp spray something that'll kill these suckers because they're I stepped a little too close a second ago and ah, freak out mode of the yellow jackets. We're going to stay the heck away from there. Oh no. 
Well, I don't know what the heck I'm doing, but it's coming together. This sucks. that one for when we connect this next piece because it's got to go under it so oh that's all the fascia on this side we can put our gutter back up there now we got it wrapped all the oh shoot don't fall all the way over to right there so we got to get another piece that'll connect and come on around there Well, that might look horrific for now, but I think that's gonna get us. We take this piece here, slide it right up in there behind it, and that makes the connection to all of them. And that actually gonna come out all right, I think. I know we're just a hair off on our corner there, but we're not bad. And we've got enough meat, oh, meat both ways that we can make that work. Just a, I know I'm shining you guys' guy, just a slight bit off and we'll be able to make it work. So lesson learned on this one, I cut this one straight out and then started the angle. That angle needs to run from that inside corner out. So over here, you guys can see where I've got it marked on the inside corner running at an angle and then I cut it straight. So let's get this sucker cut and see how this goes. Fingers crossed. A little janky too, but hopefully uh, we'll bring our other piece in. That'll that'll make it work. Let's go try to make this first connection. All right. So my chosen path was to do this one side at a time. I've drilled that left hand side. I don't think it's going to be very smart to try to drill six holes without at least one side attached and sealed. I showed you guys the special sealant. I'm assuming this is how it's done. I've never done this before. We're gonna smear some on here. Right around where our rivets are gonna go. All up the edge. When I say the edge, the flat spot. All the way to the top. 
I'm assuming that's right. Heck, I don't know. Then we're going to take our handy dandy dandy pop rivet gun. We'll put some pop rivets in our mouth. Because why not? So everybody does when they need a third hand, right? We're going to. It's hard to talk like that. We're going to try to put it on there. This might suck. Hang through the top. Yep. Well, I guess that's side number one. Debating on whether or not I need a rivet right there. I think I do. I better put one in there. I'm gonna have this stuff all over my face, my beard. Assuming this stuff is there to ensure water stays in the gutter instead of coming out of the gutter. Again, everybody, I ain't ever done this before, so for those of you who probably do this for a living, I am sorry for making this look like crap. Anyway, one more side to go. Well, no. All right, everybody, I didn't video this part because it's a pretty dangerous part, but we built this box. We were short up on top. Yes, I still have to put drip edge on it and bring that around and put one row of shingles. But we built the box, boxed it in all the way over to this side, this side over here and got it tied in. So this is nailed to this and this is nailed to a bottom piece. And then I put a board all the way along this wall to nail it to. So everything is tied together as a true box. And then we got this piece here tied to that piece there. We've got our bottom soffit on. We're going to put the fascia on here, that board, this board, and we're going to continue that guttering around. It's supposed to rain Wednesday. So I'd really like to get this sealed up and gutters on it. Yeah, I gotta put shingles on, but at some point in time, we'll get to that. At this point, it's a matter of keeping the rain from degradating that any more than it already has. So that's where we're at so far, and I didn't video because it honestly was pretty sketchy. So let's get some more fish on. Well, sometimes you gotta stop work and do things the wife wants. Chairs won't fit down the steps, so we gotta send them down in oh 
Come on. Come on now, chair. Play nice. Or not. Come on now, chair. You're kidding me, right? Sometimes you gotta send them down in style, I guess. Long way down there. Now, the reason you guys notice me standing way back is because I actually cut off the supports for that so that I could box this in. So that thing's kind of just uh, hanging out there in no man's land. Got to figure out how we're going to take care of that, but that's a job for another day. We got that wrapped. We're going to go ahead and try to get the gutters all the way around to this side. We can't do the other side yet. A, we've still got a B problem. We've sprayed and sprayed and sprayed and sprayed and sprayed. Uh, but we're going to deal with those after dark, maybe. Um, so we're going to get the gutters wrapped around from over there, over to here, off this corner and around there. And then I'm thinking maybe I'll just do some jerry rigging to get me a downspout over. Cause it's supposed to rain Wednesday and I'd rather get as much, keep as much water off this thing as I can. Let's get some gutters going. All right, everybody. Third time's a charm. Hopefully this one here will... Ooh, yeah, that's looking good. That's looking good. Now let's get our little piece on here. Did I finally make one that actually fits right? Ooh! Well, I'm not going to complain about that. We better put a screw in it crap can't see the screw <sighs> by golly there's one screw now how's this piece gonna sneak up in there Oops. Oh, did you guys see that thing move? I saw it move. Daggone it. Oh, well. Two holes, I guess. All right. Before we go any further, we better put our good old goop on it. Gotta get our goop in place. Oh, come on, goop. Cooperate. One side. Oops. A little crazy on that side. You getting cold? Two please? sides. Here you go. Slide her up in there. Ew. Ew. That's some nasty sticky stuff. Nasty. Oh, there's one. 
There's one. He's more than welcome to check it out too if you want to tell him before he leaves. There's two, oh, that one down my shirt and it's got nastiness all over it. <laughs> oh, go through your hole. Oh, come on. There it is. <sighs> all right, so now we got to do we got one, two, three rivets. I'd like to put one more right here, I think, to suck that over. We'll put four rivets on this side as well. Clean up our goop, call her done. Well, I know you all can't see it very well, but we got another section of gutter on. You saw me install that. We got her tidied up and sealed off. Now, we're gonna put the door in. However, it's a little too dark for you guys to see anything. All right, well, you guys might not have the best of view on this one. Cause I'm gonna set the camera up there on that piece of metal, but I figured I'd video this one because it is sketchy AF. I'm telling you, uh, the floor joists are, you know, those got to be replaced. The deck kind of runs this way. The floorboards are useless basically, and I've got to get up on this ladder and put a gutter right there. So, hey, if I fall 45 feet to the ground, well, at least you guys get to see it, right? Anyway, let's get this gutter on. This is gonna suck! Not only do I have to get it up there without falling off, I gotta get it unlevel, running our direction, so that the water will come this way. So I need like 74 hands. Obviously I don't have 74 hands. Anyway, oh, and did I mention I'm working alone? Ha <laughs> ha, even better. All right, let the stupidness begin. I guess really I need to be on that other end with the ladder. Ugh. Oh yeah, and there's a B. Crazy, 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 crazy bees right here. Ow! Forgot my light bulb on there. Crazy, crazy bees right here below me. We're going to use some expanding foam to support ourselves. Expanding foam that someone else put there years ago. We know we're going to need this. That's a guaranteed. And we're ultimately going to need this. And we're ultimately going to need this. And we're ultimately going to need that. Oh my goodness. Lots of stuff going on here. Oh. And we're going to need this. I'm leaning back and forth so far because, well, I'm literally stepping over a great big hole in the floor. Oh, I can't leave my gutter behind or I'll really be screwed here in a minute. Ah. All right. Here goes everything. Rung number one. Woo! -hoo. Rung number two. Did you guys hear that pop? I heard that pop. Well, here we are. Oh well. Here's the pop. It's just a pop. Right? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's looking pretty healthy right there, I think. Race number uno. Man, this is fun. 
I tell you. I don't know if you guys are having as much fun as I am. Well, that's running the wrong way. Oh, boy. Well, I didn't plan that out very well. My second screw is behind me. This is getting really stupid. Now the question is, oh, was that a cramp? I think that was a cramp. Now the question is, did it stay where it belongs? Well, we're within an eighth of an inch, so, uh, what I'm telling you is we're going to let it ride. Let her ride! Alright, <clears throat> we're going to do some trimming over there and put our 45 on. We've got to move our ladder to get there. Oh boy. Ah. Y'all hear that? I hear that. That sucked. Alright everybody, the last piece of guttering going up. Hopefully this one fits well. I, I seem to... Seems to have gotten a little bit better as I worked around the building here. I'm still not really good at it, but you know, such is life sometimes. do with my level hmm better find the level well I guess it really doesn't matter and the reason why it doesn't matter I guess is because level or not this side here oh my goodness that thing's stuck this side here has to blend with that side we know that this gutter is going downhill we know that that gutter on the other side is coming this way the point of interest is right here um, yeah, I've got a door here now But the window is actually going to be somewhere right over in here So this this downspout I got to cut a hole here and I'll run it down and maybe try to attach it to this board for now It'll run down and come across the floor, which I'll show you guys that as well, but <clears throat> Basically the concept is these two fall a whole building falls all the way down to this point So if I'm just a hair past that I don't think it's gonna hurt anything and I've got this gutter underneath that gutter, so surely this one will feed that one. Let's tighten up two more screws. Two more 45s and we'll have this baby. Right there looks pretty good. Put our last screw in the actual gutter. Gotta get really close to the wall here because the big on big on thing uh, deck's a little rotted. <clears throat> All right, there's our last screw. Now let's get our 45 in place. on it oops don't want to get it all over my finger Some sticky stuff 
Oh, come on. My caulk gun is failing me today. There we go. Now we're cooking with peanut oil. Slider back in there. Ooh, about knocked my caulk gun off. Oh, three pop rivets in this side, and then I'll drill the other side. I don't like drilling all six holes because you might end up off. Definitely don't want to end up misaligned. I only bought eight of these. Can't be a waste in them. First three. Second three. Yes, folks, I know my rivets don't match. I ran out of the other ones. So we had to, had to go with the tan ones. Wasn't driving 15 minutes just for rivets when I had rivets. And you guys might not have even noticed and I might have been the only one that knew it. All right, put some caulk on the inside of that. One more 45, got us a hole right here, put a downspout on, we'll have some gutters on. Well, there it is folks, my crappy downspout work. Again, I'm not a gutter guy, but you know what? All that water is going to go down that downspout and go out there. We had a visitor show up. Charlie's here. Looks good. Looks good. Think water's going to go down yeah. and end up outside the rock now? I think it should. If that's not, a good, that's a good, I don't know, six feet. Don't lean over too far, Charlie. <laughs> yeah, that's a good six feet down there. If the water don't go that way, you got problems. That's yeah, sure. and look, I'm missing the power line. I'm not going to run water on top of electricity. That's a positive thing, right? Uh, yeah. From over yeah. here, it actually looks like it's gonna run right on top of it. So let me come over here. There's the power line. There's the water going out that way. So we are good. Hopefully you guys like that video. I'm not a gutter guy, but we got gutters up. Now we got less water going into the castle. So as always, like, comment, subscribe.